My name's uh, Titus Gall, and I am the president slant CEO of Tower Tech Incorporated. Um, I started this business about three days after I retired from the Federal Aviation Administration after a 32-year career as an air traffic controller. My uh, career started in the United States Navy in 1969. Um, I spent nine years in the Navy as an air traffic controller, two and a half years of which were spent aboard an aircraft carrier in the Tonkin Gulf. From the Navy, uh, I went to the Department of Defense as a civilian controller at Naval Air Station Lemoore, where I was also stationed uh, as a sailor. Then, of course, the strike in 1981 happened where all the controllers were, were basically fired. And, uh, of course, as a Department of Defense controller, I was not subject to that firing. So I ended up uh, going from Lemoore to Fresno as an air traffic controller for the FAA spent two years at Fresno as a tower controller and a radar approach controller, then came to Sacramento approach control in 1985. Um, and during the time that I was uh, at Sacramento, I was asked to uh, become an instructor for the um, on-the-job training uh, part of the program. There were two courses that I taught. I taught the on-the-job training instructor uh, as a cadre instructor. In other words, I was uh, put in front of a class and asked to teach the instructors how to do their jobs. And then there were examiners that were a step uh, beyond the instructor position. And I was also a cadre instructor for the examiner position. Um, went on to the operational supervisors workshop as a cadre instructor and taught other supervisors how to uh, be more effective in their jobs. During the time that I went from Sacramento approach to Northern California TRACON, which is a, a very large combined facility with uh, nearly 200 controllers working, uh, certainly not all at the same time, but uh, they have a staffing of nearly 200 controllers. Um, I was also asked to teach a course for the Forest Service in their um, aviation safety management course. I taught uh, basic air traffic control, um, the lingo, I mean the, the phraseology in air traffic is is something that most people don't understand. Um, I also taught uh, weather, uh, being a certified weather observer, and I also uh, got into team building, and, and team building was probably the biggest part of the whole uh, course that I taught. Uh, probably important to note that uh, part of the qualification to teach for the Forest Service was to become an adjunct professor, and I was qualified to do that through University of Davis, uh, the college system, and um, basically had to qualify myself to become that instructor. So um, here I am, uh, an adjunct professor at UC Davis, teaching a course for the Forest Service, and um, passing along information and experiences that I had uh, learned in the FAA in a 32-year in a career. Make a straight into runway 30, call me on a two mile final. Right now you're number two for the runway final on a live plane on the left face. The main idea of having this business uh, came with the circumstance of being an FAA controller on a list to do temporary air traffic control towers uh, for the Forest Service in a firefighting environment. So we called them fire towers. And those towers seem to be logistically cumbersome for the Forest Service um, in all the equipment that they had to provide for the air traffic controllers. And I thought that there was a better way to provide that service. My coastline standby one, big blue, uh, yes sir, land short, plan of 180. And there is traffic departing midfield from Bravo. Out of the side deck. Yeah. Air cam, the uh, biplane has you inside, no factor. We have a custom built trailer that basically has a segregated work environment, i.e. a fully functional tower cab uh, with all the radio equipment already in it. We have printers, we have fax service, we have uh, three tons, at least three tons of air conditioning in that trailer. Um, so we have the tower cab is the, the integral working part of the trailer and then the rest of the trailer is living accommodations for two controllers. So we have in the uh, living quarters, 
we have a full bathroom, we have a complete kitchen, we have a refrigerator freezer, we have HD TV, we have air conditioning there, we have um, generally a hundred gallons of water, fresh water, uh, that we carry in the trailer. The trailers uh, provide their own power via diesel ultra quiet generators, two per trailer, so uh, we're never without power. And we also carry um, 100 gallons of, of fuel for that generator, so we can run that generator uh, for almost a week without putting more fuel in it. So the, the self-contained, fully complete package uh, is, is what we offer. Each trailer has its own uh, vehicle or truck to, to pull it down the highway and that becomes the ground transportation for the controller crew of two uh, that will be in the trailer. Uh, they can actually live in the trailer. This unit when it's ordered up is absolutely complete. Uh, the only support that is required by contract both on the CAL FIRE contract and the Forest Service contract is potable water in other words, we need fresh water to make coffee with and shower, et cetera, in the trailer and sewer service for the trailer. So we, we have our tanks taken care of when needed. Um, other than that, we bring everything. Uh, and if you compare that to uh, what the letter of agreement that the Forest Service has with the Federal Aviation Administration, it's a three page document of items that the Forest Service should the FAA not be able to bring along with them, um, goes from radios to a trailer to rental cars, all the way down to a toothbrush. Um, so if you want a turnkey operation, then Tower Tech is where you need to go because you're not going to get it with the Federal Aviation Administration. Basically, from the FAA, and, and I certainly am not looking down my nose at the FAA, the controllers are definitely top-notch uh, in what they do, but what they do and what we do, both being air traffic control, is quite different. And uh, it goes to the understanding of the needs of an air show environment, the needs of a helibase environment in a remote airport. So being completely self-contained is a huge load uh, off the aviation personnel that are managing uh, the Helibase makes it very logistically friendly to call on Tower Tech. Big blue on the left base, three zero. Blue, Roger, runway three zero, clear left. Clear left, three zero. Uh, we'd like to do the 180 as it works. Clear, land short 180. Thank you. Tower Tech covers basically uh, when we consider fire season, we consider the seven western states. What we have told the Forest Service and uh, CAL FIRE that we will be anywhere in CAL FIRE's case, anywhere in the state of California and operational within 24 hours of, of being ordered up, getting that resource order. And that goes true with the Forest Service and we will extend that to the seven western states. We will be on station and operational within 24 hours of receiving a resource order um, because that's exactly what we do. It's a rapid response, uh, professional air traffic control service that's certified by the FAA. And we know that when we get an order from the Forest Service or CAL FIRE, that um, we need to get there as soon as possible. When we get ordered up by the Forest Service or CAL FIRE, we happen to have a national contract with the Forest Service and a, a statewide contract with CAL FIRE in the state of California. Um, and when they decide that they need an air traffic control tower at one of their airport venues. Um, let me regress to say that most of the large forest fires happen in fairly remote areas in the mountains uh, and the foothills for the most part. And those airports in those areas are more than not uh, uncontrolled airports. So in, in an uncontrolled airport environment, the local air traffic is very comfortable uh, in their day-to-day -day, uh, operations, uh, talking on what they call a common traffic advisory frequency, they in effect sequence themselves and provide separations between themselves on a radio frequency. But if the Forest Service, for example, brings in a 20 to 25 helicopter operation in a firefighting environment, 
that is an awful lot of traffic for the local area to absorb and work their way through. Uh, so in the interest of air traffic safety, um, a temporary air traffic control tower is set up at any of these airports. And during that time, uh, we will get a phone call when it's decided that the tower is necessary. Um, and of course, the number of airplanes at each one of these um, temporary fire tower installations, as, as the fire gets bigger, more equipment is brought in, and finally it gets to the point where the, they need an air traffic control tower. So they call their dispatch um, organization and order a temporary air traffic control tower. If we are selected to, to, to fulfill that order, we get a call um, asking if we are in fact available to go wherever this uh, incident might be occurring. And if we are, they will send us uh, what they call a resource order. And as soon as we're on the resource order, we are on the clock. So within two hours of, of receiving that resource order via email or fax, uh, we are on the road. I have a group, uh, I'm very fortunate to have a group of controllers that work for Tower Check that will pretty much drop whatever they're doing at a moment's notice during the summer months uh, when we're in season, fire season, and um, go anywhere we need to go. So they have a bag packed um, all summer. They get a phone call, they're in their car, or they go rent a car, or they jump on an airplane, wherever, wherever we need to have them, uh, they are ready, willing, and able to get there. Once we arrive, it's a matter of detaching the trailer from the truck, uh, setting up the trailer, which generally takes less than an hour to go from arrival time to operational time. So we do all the coordination with the Federal Aviation Administration. We do the coordination with the airport managing folks who are responsible to issue uh, what is called a NOTAM or Notice to Airmen uh, that explains um, nationally that there is a temporary tower in force at any given airport at any given time uh, and we are generally there uh, via the by the, the NOTAM's information until further notice because we never know we can be there uh, two days we can be there two months rapid response is is basically what we do Along with the Forest Service and CAL FIRE that we have uh, standing contracts with, we also provide uh, the Air Traffic Control Service to area air shows. And air shows like Half Moon Bay in Northern California in the Bay Area. Uh, we have done that show for the last four years. And um, another air show that we have done, uh, again, for the fourth time this year, the Columbia Father's Day fly-in in the Sonora area. So not only do we cover uh, emergency incidents or accidents uh, in the way of CAL FIRE and um, the Forest Service, but also the air show venues. We can be hired by uh, city entities, uh, private companies, um, county, government agencies that require air traffic control service. Um, we're ready to go where we need to go to explain to folks how Tower Tech might make their, their venue safer, better. Um, it, it doesn't take much. Uh, the FAA, no matter where we are at an air show, at a fire tower, wherever we are, they come out with an examiner, an FAA examiner, and certify us to work that venue. I think all you have to do is think about if you have um, an airfare going on at your particular airport, would you prefer that the FAA or some professional air traffic control company was at your venue providing sequencing between arrivals and departures and successive arrivals um, and parking airplanes and things like that? Would you prefer that pilots took care of that themselves on a common traffic advisor frequency? Or would you, would you rather have an FAA certified air traffic control tower with certified controllers in it, uh, give, issuing positive control instructions to all the traffic in the pattern? So I think uh, it, it's almost a no brainer. Uh, if you have a tower, your event is going to be much more organized and, and safety is of course enhanced with an air traffic control tower.
Thank you, sir. Frequency change approved. Make clear the uh, problem airspace. We'll do it. Thank you, sir.